Lindsay. It is Sunday, September 11th, 2011. It's been 10 years since the day the Twin Towers fell, the Pentagon was attacked, and Flight 93 crashed into an open field in Pennsylvania. This video is going to be pretty serious because even though I was not personally affected by anyone um, dying in the Twin Towers, a lot of people were, and a lot of people are still affected today, and it's a huge mark in our history as a nation. First off, I want to tell everyone who was affected that day, um, if you were in the Twin Towers at any point, or if you knew somebody there, if you lost a loved one, uh, if you were a firefighter or a police officer during that time, um, if you lost somebody even overseas that's fighting the war since then, I am praying for you. I, I hope you don't take that offensively, but I am praying for peace over you. It's crazy to already think that it's been 10 years since that time, because 10 years ago, I was 9 years old and I was in, in fourth grade when this happened. I remember that I was sitting in class and we were listening to my teacher tell us quite a hilarious story about Ash Wednesday and her accidentally setting off her fire alarm trying to make ashes from a candle and it did not go very well. And she was about halfway through the story when a telephone rang. And she answered the telephone, and I remember watching her face almost like sink in. Um, and it was really weird, and she told us we had to get up and go to the chapel immediately. Here I feel it'd be important to let you know I did go to a private school during my elementary years. When we went to the chapel, the principal was standing there, and he had told us that the United States had been attacked. I was in fourth grade. I really did not comprehend what that meant at the time. And after that, he said that we needed to clasp hands and pray. So the entire chapel clasped hands, and he started a prayer, and different people got up and prayed, and we prayed for about an hour. By the end of the day, which was 3.30 for us, I was one of five left in the classroom out of a class of 25. That day, my grandma didn't come and pick me up, and I remember going home, and that was the first time I saw what had happened. She turned on the news, and we watched it. And I remember being terrified absolutely terrified to the point I asked my grandma to finally change the channel because I didn't want to see it anymore and she did. The thing that scared me the most was that the news reporters were saying that they are afraid that there would be an attack in Dallas or Fort Worth where my parents were at the time and I was afraid of losing my parents. But again, I was never directly affected by anything. But nowadays there are thousands of people that are still affected by them, men, women, and children. Um, and it's crazy to me to think that there are people 10 and under that weren't alive when this happened. And for all of them, all the ones that have lost somebody, all that were lost during that day, and all that have been lost and are still fighting for our freedom overseas, I would like to give a moment of silence. Lindsay, I will see you Monday, and Emily, I will see you Wednesday. Peace out.